Welcome to Support This TV. And damn it, boy, shout out to all my supporters. I really appreciate y'all. Now, when I heard about Safari proposing to Erica Mina, I thought it was false. I thought it was fake news. <laughs> now, actually, I thought it was some promo stuff type stuff. You know, but now I'm starting to believe it's real. Because ain't nothing fake about that damn diamond game. Now, it looked real as hell. You know? Now, and also, when you look at them in photos and stuff, man, and the photos they got together, they look like they love this gene. Because we all know when it comes to these celebrities, whether they music celebrities or reality TV show celebrities, sometimes they come up with these little fake-ass stories just to be in the blogs, just to be in the news, so they can career, so their career can go further ahead. But I think in this case, this situation right here is real. And hopefully Erica Mina can find real love other than the situation she had with Bow Wow or Richie Dollars, you know. And hopefully Safari can stay faithful and, you know, do a little bit better than what he did with Nicki, you know. But it's two sides to the story. Two sides to the story. I don't know what Nicki might have done to him, you know. But right now, they are getting offers to film their wedding. Like, some people are offering them up to $350,000 to stream their wedding. Now, you may be one of those people that want to see their wedding. Or you may be one of those people that don't give a damn about their wedding. But weddings is big business. It's big business for the planner. And now it's big business for television or streaming services. Do y'all remember back in the day when Niles and Cleese had his wedding on TV? Do y'all remember what? About a year ago with Gucci Mane and Keisha K.O. had their wedding on BET? So, you know. Right now, somebody out there offering Safari and Erica Mina a big deal to stream their wedding. Now, don't be surprised if you see Mona Scott logo at the end of the show, you know, because you see Mona Scott, she runs Love and Hip Hop. You know, she started out being a music manager. Now she got like the number one hottest reality TV show on television, you know. Also, don't be surprised if you see these two at their own reality show. Because honestly, if I was on Love and Hip Hop, and then my future wife is on Love and Hip Hop. I'm going to go ahead and hit Mona Scott Young and say, Mona, it's time for you to give us our own show. You gave Kate Michelle her own show. You gave Stevie J his own show. She even gave, what's the other girl? Jocelyn, her own show. So give me my own show. But let me know how y'all feel about these two getting married. Man, I wish you the best. But I am, a.k.a. Benz, Ill Support This TV. Like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'm out. Peace.